What's up people? So we're back with another video. Hope you've all been staying safe and staying free and having a good week enjoying that content. Now this one that I'm bringing to you all today is all about prison food. So let's get into it. So prison food is absolutely dead and there's no amount of salt and pepper in the world that's going to save it. Even Gordon Ramsay tried to go into prison and do the food and his thing and he couldn't save it. Now yes you can go down as kosher inside of prison but that just means that the food will be prepared to your belief. So if you're a Jew or if you're a Muslim or you believe in some form of the way your food should be prepared then you can go down as kosher and it does taste a little bit better but it's still prison food and 9 out of 10 it's still going to be steamed food too now when it comes to the two prisons that i was in and the majority of prisons in the united kingdom prisoners will get their food menu on a sunday night or a monday night and it will come flying in underneath the cell door and it will be for the whole week now when i was locked up for the first time i didn't know what the food was like so i had to put down stuff that i was thinking okay that's gonna be all right to find out what it was as i done with chicken so this one time i put down chicken for the day to chicken you know time to come up man's rolled down to the servery to see 250 bits of chicken all left leg i'll never forget this with holy per hairs on there and there was no breast there was no right leg there was no thighs and it just popped a thought in my question like where was this chicken coming from and all of them pigeons that i be see chilling around on you know the windows and that they they were scarce there weren't many much left like what was going on and that day was when the day when I learned how to start whipping it in a kettle. Now, for those that haven't seen people cooking inside of a kettle, go and check my prison cooking show. It is out now. We're on episode two and season one. Episode three will be coming. And for those that have been locked up would know exactly how you whip it in a kettle. Now, not every prisoner can afford to cook their food in a kettle. As if you're not eating the prison food and you don't have some form of money coming into prison, then how are you going to afford to put two packs of noodles in, you know, each time? when you're cooking along with whatever else when you ain't getting money sent in and you got to do that three times a day now when it comes to prison food you only get your lunch and then your dinner and in the morning time you get rolls toast with a bit of square bit of you know jam little square blocks of jam along with cereal and if you're a late riser the time when you roll down to the end of the wing to go and get the rolls or whatever or jam it's all gone so more time you'll be going out with you know breakfast so when it came to the milk inside the prison i always thought that the milk was freshly delivered you know as the screws used to bust open your cell door and throw in your milk or sometimes they just used to leave it outside your cell door and every time i used to go and grab the milk it was stone cold and i used to think you know the milkman or whatever used to come in each week and give us fresh milk but only until i caught a job down in the kitchens to find otherwise that wasn't the case as we stumbled acro across on the dairy products with all of the yogurts obviously and we were taking it back up onto the wing but we were coming to find out that the milk and the, the dairy products of the yogurts were all frozen. Now, someone do drop a comment and tell me, how can you freeze milk and dairy products? I've never heard of that. But that's what the prison, you know, chefs were doing and the screws, they go down, they take the milk only a few hours before and then chuck it up on the wing thinking that you've got fresh milk. And that really did kind of put man off to a point. Now, when it comes to the prison food as well, you know, you do get a choice of a little dessert, like in primary school, you get one scoop of ice cream or you can get a little apple or some form of fruit, whatever it is. But the majority of prison food is dead and most people, you know, that are eating good inside of prison do get a job and they've got money coming in as well. As you know, I've seen people with their little sale wage of £12 a week and they will get two packs of noodles, a little bottle of juice. If they smoke their nicotines, then they get one pack of that and their money's done. So if you don't have no money coming in on the outside, nine out of 10, you will be eating that prison food and you have no choice of the matter. So I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Do drop a comment if you do remember eating prison food and what it was like and drop a comment about the dairy products and stay safe and stay free.